Here we have a Bomag BW120SL. This is, a, a, I believe it's a three to five ton roller, a double drum, obviously, and um, it's a 2017, but uh, I think they should all be similar. I had a, an issue with a roller where I needed to uh, take the seat off and uh, what was happening was that um, um, if I uh, pushed in the lever and uh, you know went either forward or backwards you know it was um, the emergency brake was uh, was catching on so I couldn't roll really slow I had to push the lever all the way in and then go either forward or backward and that really got uh, uh, my hand tired so um i figured it i figured out what the issue was under the seat right in there there's a there's a mechanism that moves back and forth when you move the lever and there is also a sensor um and that was the uh, the issue now uh removing the seat there's no videos right now online uh on how to either remove the seat or mess with that little sensor there so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it real quick Let's see if I can set this down here actually I'll explain it first so um, I'm gonna move this seat forward so you guys can see there we go. There you go. so the very first step is uh, this little screw here there's a little um, uh, metal uh, hold down piece you got to move this, uh, take off the screw, and then slide this uh, uh, metal piece to the to the right, and that'll give you access to removing the uh, the entire seat. I'll show you how that's done. Let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. Now I already made my adjustments to that sensor but I wanted to show you guys how to get access to that mid section which is you know, I had a hard time finding any information online so you remove that uh, I don't know if you can see yeah remove that uh, um, that piece I'm going to slide it to the right side there you go it's slid to the right right here um, now you can shift the, the uh, the seat uh, to the uh, left and pull it up and that will uh, now, now you're able to get, climb on top of here now you're able to uh, slide the seat up Make sure you don't tug on this uh, on this cable. This is your sensor for the seat. It uh, makes sure uh, somebody's sitting somebody's sitting there when you're rolling. I don't like those sensors, but uh, it's for safety reasons. So now you can uh, take this seat. If you guys can sit still, yeah, you guys can sit still. So this uh, this back piece, it comes off very easily. It's got a couple of um, plastic uh, pieces that hold it down. Let's see, there it is, there it is. Okay, so you put this away somewhere. Now you take this piece and uh, place this on top of the uh, steering wheel here, you should have enough enough uh, wire. Uh, on mine, I had a couple zip ties that I had to, uh, you know, get rid of so that uh, this cable doesn't uh, stretch. So now you have a uh, you have uh, the bottom piece that holds the seat in. Now what you do is, uh, let's see here, you put this. See here, there you go. So 
So uh, I'm just resting the uh, the seat on the uh, chair there, or on the uh, panel there. So now you take your seat, you're gonna pull the lever, and you're gonna pull it all the way forward, and it's gonna slide right off the rails here. All right. Go all the way, and it slides off the rail very easily. I had to uh, put some WD-40 on mine, but uh, that'll give you access to this center section. I'm going to show you what was wrong with mine. So this sensor here, here I'll show you the lever. This is the lever, and then you can see where it moves. That mechanism moves away from that sensor. And then it goes either, you know, front or back. So, let's see, let me zoom in. That's the uh, the sensor right there. You can see that little cross. But uh, basically, what what uh, I had to do is I had to move my sensor away from this metal piece, so that when I was uh, when I move the uh, lever. You know, it, it's it's far away, so that it doesn't read the uh, the, uh, the the mechanism here, and it doesn't engage the uh, emergency brake. Uh, I had to move it a couple times, screw it down, try it, and then you know uh, didn't work. So you know, you just gotta adjust it, adjust it until you get it far enough to where the uh, roller starts. Oh shit. To move it far enough to where the uh, the roller will start, because if you move this further out this way, like I did on the beginning, it will uh, the roller will not start. So you got to kind of keep it at a distance where the roller will start, but it will not engage the uh, emergency brake uh, when you're rolling slowly. That's it. I uh, hope this uh, video was helpful to anybody fixing a Bowmag uh, BW120SL 2017. Thank you so much for watching.